Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video here in the preview event for the Outlaws of Thunder Junction and today I'm bringing you this blue-green plotting adventure ramp deck of sorts and as you may have noticed there's a new two mana planeswalker in standard although I put it in a four drop slot since you cannot cast the Jace during your first second or third turn. Now in other formats with the Leyline of Anticipation there's ways to kind of get around it by playing Jace in the opponent's second turn but uh, in standard we'll just have to wait and uh, be a little bit more patient but then once we play Jace we can either use the plus to draw and discard or we can exile a non land card with mana value three or less from our hand and if we do it becomes plotted meaning on a following turn we can cast that card for free and jace has a pretty neat synergy alongside bramble familiar even though the bramble familiar itself is a two mana creature if we exile it with jace and essentially plot it we can use the fetch quest adventure side of the card and cast that seven mana sorcery for free so that's kind of a powerful combo with jace in this deck and then there's some other synergies with a plot mechanic of course and then bramble familiar if we get to fetch quest if we're lucky we might hit the new voltborn tyrant this seven mana six six trampling dinosaur when it enters or another creature with power four or greater enters we not only gain three life but we also draw a card so it immediately replaces itself and when it dies if it's not a token we get to make an artifact token version of a voltborn tyrant so you better have a way to exile it otherwise this will run away with the game so voltborn tyrant has been uh, pretty impressive from what i've seen so far and then we've got some other cards with the plot mechanic. Outcaster Trailblazer can be plotted for two and a green, so same as its mana cost. And then when it enters, we get to add one mana of any color. And whenever another creature enters with power four or greater, we also get to draw a card. So plotting the Trailblazer is kind of a way to protect it from a removal spell. So we can hopefully cast it and another four powered creature in the same turn. Plus, there's also the discount from our Grizzled Genius. This 2 mana 2 3 says spells we cast from our graveyard or from exile cost 2 less to cast, and plotting cards from our hand also get a 2 mana discount. So if we play our Genius on turn 2, then on turn 3 we can plot the Trailblazer for just a single green mana, and maybe we can also exile our Railway Brawler, which normally costs 4 mana to plot, so with a 2 mana discount is just 1 and a green, and this is a 5 5 with Reach and Trample, and and then whenever another creature enters under our control we essentially get to double its power and toughness by adding plus one plus one counters on top of it so that can also help us kind of go over the top and potentially break a board stall and this also benefits from the plot mechanic as we can kind of avoid playing the brawler into a removal spell and instead wait until we can cast multiple creatures in the same turn and hopefully reap the rewards and then I've got a bunch more two mana ramp cards besides familiar we can also use Kellen's adventure Tail the suspect lets us investigate and play an additional land and then on the following turn we could potentially play our grizzle genius and then thanks to the two mana discount from cards in exile we can still play the creature half of Kellen for just two mana so that can also be a very efficient turn and then Kellen can draw us additional cards by taking out her own clue tokens then the beanstalk worm can also let us play an additional land and then as a 5-4 potentially getting a discount from our grizzle genius can also maybe draw with trailblazer or with a tyrant and of course it's nice with a brawler as well making a large 10 powered creature and then there's the whale which we can use as interaction maybe bouncing an opposing creature and then later we can also maybe cast it for just four mana thanks to our two mana discount and then another large creature to draw with a trailblazer and with a vault born tyrant so yeah, that's kind of our deck in a nutshell. The mana base also gets to play with Restless Vinestalk. We've got 30 lands total, since we have all these effects to let us play additional lands, so it would be a shame if we run out of lands in hand. But uh, Vinestalk gives us another tool to maybe recover from a sweeper effect or deal those last points of damage. And then Hedge Maze, another tap land that we can easily play on turn one, or maybe play as our additional land on turn two. And then it lets us surveil, so that can also give us a bit of card selection. And then we've got more dual lands, including I'm also trying to botanical sanctum but not really a necessity and then plenty of basics and the channel lands for added interaction so yeah that's our deck now let's jump into some games and see what the deck does okay we're on the play with a keepable hand turn to probably go for bramble familiar or if we expect removal we can use the worm keeping familiar in the hands also has the advantage of maybe comboing with jace if we draw it so that could also be a reason to go for Worm on 2. Alright, since we drew another Familiar, I'm okay playing one now. And then either way we can plot the Trailblazer. And now... 
with four mana. Probably just gonna hit for two and plot. Or we can plot the brawler, which is also pretty good. Yeah, let's do that instead. And then next turn I can maybe cast Trailblazer into Brawler to draw. Or Brawler first if we want to uh, get extra plus one counters. Mastermind can punish our card draw a little bit. Another Trailblazer. So not finding the land, sadly. Could just play a pair of familiars, give us more mana. Assuming the brawler gets removed if I play it. Can also plot Trailblazer. But that would be my whole turn. So, yeah, I'm kind of down to just play a pair of familiars to accelerate my mana. And then save Brawler for a turn where they don't have mana untapped. Which may prove to be tricky. Alright, there's a ninja, Prosperous Thief. So they might be playing with a new Satoru. Second Worm, not a great draw. So they still have two mana available for a potential removal spell. But now I'm kind of down to just plot a pair of Trailblazers. And then set up a fun turn. Mastermind's back. Now the master discounting other ninjutsu abilities. And the dock. Okay. Doesn't really help us with anything we've got in exile right now. So I think we just go double trailblazer, play brawler and see what's up. Might see removal and response. Okay, and then, yeah, I guess we just play a worm, draw a few more cards. Could also use the adventure first. And then use dock to get a discount. One's gonna make disappear with casualty, so won't be able to pay for it. And then we'll just uh, get in with the familiars. And hope there's no board wipe next turn. Gonna be tiny bones and three mana untapped. Okay, can also get in with the uh, vine stalk if we'd like. Although I'm kind of liking the idea of using beanstalk worm to draw a few more cards. Tidebinder, gonna shut down our uh, brawler, that's fine. Okay, go to attackers. And if we go all out, can see a trade, a trade, a trade, and still get in for 10. Seems fine. Opponent's just gonna take it. All right, sweet, on to the next one. All 
Okay, we're on the draw. This hand's pretty awkward since we can't, of course, play Jace early. And we don't have Bramble Familiar to go with it. Just a few too many expensive spells. Okay, this time we've got Jace plus Familiar and a few lands, so I can keep. Probably don't need Yavamaya Coast. And then at this we can plot on turn 3. Play Vinestalk, kind of wait on the Hedge Maze Surveil decision. Alright, opponent's got a similar build. So Beanstalk Worm doesn't seem all that exciting here. Opponent's got the Trailblazer for one mana. I would love to draw our own dock. Alright, so next turn we can play Jace and plot Bramble Familiar, which can hopefully hit something big. Although we won't be able to cast it until the following turn. Prairie Dog can pick up some plus one counters. If they plot another card, it's going to be Jarolf. So they immediately make a zombie. So they're definitely on the back foot. So, can uh, go with Jace. And then, yeah, I guess we can play the Trailblazer, even though I won't really use the mana this turn. But that's the combo. And Kellen, not that great here, to be honest. We'll pass a turn. Not too worried if Jace dies. So if it can soak up a bit of damage, it's not a bad thing. Alright, opponent's got three mana Kellen. And they're going after Jace. So we can trade for Jarlf if we'd like. Or we can just let damage happen, hoping we hit a large creature to draw with Trailblazer next turn. Alright, start here. And we hit the Dino, nice. So we draw two cards. Including Kellen. So we're back on the board. Opponent plotting a Stitcher. And Priory Dog grows. Okay, so if I play Familiar, I can eventually pick it back up to use the Adventure once again. Probably start by drawing with our Clue. Uh, of course, Skellen can also just attack to save us the mana. So I'll start there. And just a land for now. So if we don't draw anything exciting next turn, plan is to pick up Familiar and fetch quest again. Going on with Fibblethip to start plodding off the top. And uh, Geralf's also going off making zombies. 
There's another Trailblazer, so that can draw them more cards. So we're holding on, trying our best to survive. Okay, Beanstalk Worm, pretty good with Doc. Yeah, if we pick up Familiar, I guess I'll be a mana short of uh, using the Adventure, since we don't get a discount there. So that will have to wait. So instead we'll use the Worm. Brawler's not bad, so can uh, plot that one or cast it, which would draw off Tyrants and uh, Trailblazer and give us another Reach creature. So now I'm not too worried about picking up the Familiar. Okay, our Flyer can attack. So we're getting back into the game here. Get to see the new Reach animation. Easy to forget that Beanstalk Worm also has Reach. Opponent's got their own Brawler, so yeah, this is uh, gonna be quite the battle once we attack all out. There's another Bramble Familiar. So we can play another Brawler, maybe step one. Will be a 10 10 Trampler. There's another Jace to maybe plot the Familiar. And that would leave up Whale to maybe bounce an attacker. Jace also makes it easier to pick up Familiar and then plot it again. So for now, again, attack with our Flyer. And that's it. And then end of turn I can pick up Familiar as well. So we've got a neat engine going. But so does our opponent with Fibblethip. So they get to draw two cards. Possible it comes down to decking, but we're still only halfway. And with double brawler, I imagine we'll be able to make some large enough creatures. Prairie dog is hard at work. Okay, so start with the familiar. Does mill seven cards, so that's a little scary, but worth it when we hit Voltborn Tyrant. Seventeen cards left. Yeah, let's just go for it here. Play another Tyrant. 24-24 Trample, so next turn we should be able to set up a good attack. And uh, Jace, probably not gonna be plotting too many more Bramble Familiars. Draw and discard is an option, or we can just plot something else. Although I guess I just want to cast the Trailblazer to be fair. Can also go for a pair of uh, Bramble Familiars. Or maybe play one and then uh, keep up the whale just in case. This one also gets a discount. Alright. Maybe this is fine. So no attacks besides Kellen. Although never mind, I've got a brawler now. So I'm just going to go for an all-out attack next turn. 
Bowden and found another trailblazer of their own. Okay, so we can fire up the vine stock. Maybe play Trailblazer before attacking, so it still picks up more counters. Although the card draw is kind of dangerous. Okay. Play familiar. And Jace plotting Jace. I'm always... And then now I do want to make sure to keep up the whale in case they can attack back. Then Vine Stalk can shrink something down, like the Brawler, since the plus one counters will still keep the Prairie Dog as an 8 8 at least. So, sure. Alright, didn't do the math, so kind of just hoping this is enough. Or at the very least, our opponent won't be able to attack back for lethal. We're at 46 from the life gain as well. Let's see, Bosage is only opposing lands, otherwise I could take out my own vine stock to deny the 8 life gained. So yeah, definitely could have optimized some things a little bit better along the way. Eight cards left in library, so kind of have to do it with what we have in play. So this is still 48 going through, so I think we should be fine here. Well, that was a pretty interesting game. Glad we got to see the Jace combo with Bramble Familiar in action. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can close out the game before it gets to this point. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Can play Doc on two, and then Jace can maybe discard the second copy. Okay, an aggressive pirate deck. It's not ideal, but we've got double whale for interaction. Kellon's not bad if we can find another land to go with it. But uh, yeah, currently doesn't do a whole lot for me. prefer playing the dock as a blocker. Find another Kellen anyways. So if I draw land next turn and we still have dock in play, I can adventure and cast Kellen, which would be a pretty good turn. This is where breaches can come down, prevent us from blocking. Instead of two mana, witch dock or frenzy. Also quite good. So can't play Jace this turn, but next turn it's good to go. And then for now, with a land, can adventure Kellen and still play another dock. I think that's better than keeping up the whale. Alright, Malcolm has haste, and a crewmate will investigate. Still acceptable. 2-3 on the grounds, playing defense quite well. Alter opponent is stringing together crewmates, which will eventually find breaches. And Jace 
can just draw and discard maybe. Or we can keep up the whale and play Kellen. I think I do want to start drawing with Jace. Try and find a Bramble familiar to combo with. And then... Do I get rid of my other Jace? I guess I do. Captain Storm can also grow the team, thanks to Malcolm. And what does a crewmate find? A Zephyr Singer, which they can convoke to give the team flying. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So, now what? Want to keep up a double whale, pretty much. Uh, Kellen doesn't have the best of attacks either. So Jace is just gonna draw and discard. Alright, found a Bramble familiar, but it might be too little too late. So we can keep that in hand to plot next turn, but then it's another turn before we can actually cast the adventure for free. So I'm just gonna have to pass with double whale available. Put on draws. So at least they haven't found breaches yet. And another Tomb Raider. And a Lackey, so that will trigger Malcolm, which in turn triggers Captain Storm. If we don't need to use both whales, we can maybe sack a clue instead. But uh, yeah, all out attack seems likely. Okay, so I can bounce Zephyr Singer, even though I'll get to Convoke it again. And then I can block Tomb Raider on the ground. Tomb Raider in the air, take 6, 7, 8, down to 5. Don't feel great about that. So I probably have to bounce something else here. So we'll plot the familiar. I can main phase whale to have it as a blocker. And then Kellen can attack, destroying my own clue to draw. So I can maybe start there. Find Odawara. So, yeah, play the whale. I have one flying blocker, which is hopefully enough. And then hope to untap and have a good fetch quest. We can also minus six Jace next turn. Uh oh. That's just game. Alright, that's too bad. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keeper. If Doc survives, we could both plot Trailblazer and Brawler on turn three. 
which could be quite exciting. Facing uh, Grixis' deck, those tend to have a bit of removal. Dog survives the minus two, minus two at least. Jace will need some more blue mana before we can cast it. And gladly take three. Okay, so we do get two plots. And we'll hit for two. So next turn I can potentially play Jace. And Shieldred's next, so that can punish the card draw from Trailblazer. So, yeah, it also punishes the card draw from Jace. So it is pretty good here. So we're probably going to want to keep up the Whale, although how likely are they to attack with Shieldred? So I can either draw an additional card or I can get more plus one counters, which may be more relevant so the Trailblazer doesn't die to the Harvester. So we'll start here. And then I can use this to make blue mana, and then still play Jace if I'd like, although I wouldn't be plotting anything. Now I, must step out of the I don't have to draw and discard if I don't want to, I guess we'll see what's on top first. Bramble Familiar, okay, so that we can plot next turn. Yeah, let's just uh, plus without drawing and pass it back. And hope we get to use the whale. Another harvester means they can take out Doc, but that's fine now. We got our value. And no attack. Okay, so we're slowly dying to Shieldred. Uh, do I start attacking? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Get in for 8, could get in for 13, since we have the whale for Shieldred, assuming that resolves. Don't really need Jace anymore. Corpse Appraiser can go digging. And Shieldra's attacks right into our breach. Okay. Ooh, Coveted Falcon, I see. So this must be some combo with the new 4-man enchantment that they want to gift the opponent. Okay, so we'll start by fetching quest. See what we hit. Nothing too exciting, although actually Trailblazer isn't bad. Since that'll help us cast Voltborn Tyrant. And I guess we've got a few of those now. Draw while the drawing's good and there's no shield route in play. And then Jace can still uh, draw and discard, I guess. And uh, Hatch Maze can go and attack. So even if there's a board wipe, it's not a disaster, since we would get a replacement Tyrant. And yeah, there's the Greed's Gambit. So. Nice combo with the Falcon if you can give it to the opponents. Discards Atraxa to maybe reanimate. Okay, so we can minus six. And 
than double our tyrants. Because why not? It's a lot of triggers. Our deck is going off. And this should be lethal. GG's. Alright, so we get to see our plotting adventure ramp deck in action. And there's certainly some pretty cool synergies at play here. I was very impressed by the plot mechanic in general as a way to play around counter spells as we saw against Blue Black, but also maybe a way to spend your mana and still play around a sweeper effect and instead try to set up those big turns where you string together multiple trailblazers and brawlers to get some advantage. So it's a lot better than just playing creatures face first into known removal and interaction. So it does give you some nice flexibility. And then the combo between Jace and Bramble Familiar was also pretty cute. Not sure it's quite competitive enough to make it into a tier 1 deck, since you do have to wait until turn 4 to cast Jace, and then wait until turn 5 before you can fetch quest for free. But yeah, once you do, it is quite powerful, especially if you're lucky enough to hit a Voltborn Tyrant, which has certainly impressed. As a curve topper, it's probably going to replace Titan of Industry in most green decks, as it not only stabilizes you by gaining life, but it also makes it more likely that you can string together multiple copies thanks to the card draw effect so i'm quite impressed by that card and then uh, doc giving you a discount on not only adventures but also the plot mechanic also worked out quite nicely so there's certainly something here not sure we've quite reached the perfect build of this deck but i'm definitely going to keep working on the archetype but for now i want to thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day